Okay, let's look at this Doc Science Show exercise 16, number two, where we've got um, a net force to calculate. So two metal spheres A and B on insulated stands carry charges of four microcoulombs and minus six microcoulombs respectively. The spheres are arranged with their center points 40 centimeters apart. Okay, here you can see this one, and here's the third object for the last part of the question. Calculate the magnitude of the force that each sphere exerts on the other. Now remember here, the force is equal and opposite on these two spheres. So that's how come you do this calculation and whatever the force is, it's equal and opposite on the two spheres. So write out this formula. I'm not writing out the formula. Reasons, fractions. Okay, so F equals KQ1, Q2 over R squared. So let's put in this. Ugh. Let's try and turn this off here. Okay, let's put in K. F equals K and then Q1. Why does this always make tiny writing? Okay, Q1 is going to be 4 microcoulombs. So this is going to be 4 times 10 to the negative 6. I'm not putting the power in. Live with it. And then times 6 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so K, F equals K, Q1, Q2. And then this is divided by or over, over the distance squared. The distance between these two is 40 centimeters. So this is going to be divided by 0, 0,4 meters squared. Okay, now get out your calculator. Never trust your teacher and her calculator. Aha, for once it has not told me that I have the wrong answer. Okay, I have 1,35 newtons of force. This force needs a magnitude, we have that, a unit, we have that, and a direction. These two are opposite charges, opposite charges attract. So here's my answer, 1,35 newtons of attraction. So... By what factor will the magnitude of the force in question 2.1 change if the distance between the spheres is halved? Okay, remember, small distance, big force. So we're making the distance small, we're going to make the force bigger. So what we are doing is we are dividing by a half, because the distance is halved, so this value is gonna be half of this value, and then we're gonna square the half, a half squared is a quarter, so if we divide by a quarter, we multiply by the reciprocal. So it is going to be four times, four times greater. Okay. Now for the more interesting part of this question. Calculate the net force exerted on the 8 picocoulomb charge P as shown in the diagram. So before we go any further, let's look what's going to happen to um, P. First of all, it's a picocoulomb charge. So picocoulombs are 10 to the negative 12. Okay, so it's a teeny tiny charge. But it looks like it's positive because they just said 8, so it must be positive. So P is going to want to be attracted to B because B is negative. But P with A, P is going to want to run away from A because A is positive. So what we have to first do is find out what force will A exert on P and what force will B exert on P and then find the net force. So lay your work out neatly. Okay, so the force A on P and then you're going to put in the formula. Okay, remember this force is going to be a repulsive force. Okay, we can put repulsion instead of repulsive. Then we're going to do this F equals KQ1, Q2 over R squared. We wrote this in there a moment ago. Did you see me write the formula down? You need to write the formula down so you get the mark. And then we're going to find the force A on P. I can't write the subscript here. I'm writing it in my heading here. Okay. So it's going to be 9 times 10 to the 9. And then I can copy this because it's the 4 times 10 to the negative 6 because that's A. And then it's going to be multiplied by this charge P, which is 8 picocoulombs. So this is 8 times 10 to the power of negative 12. Okay. 
because it's a pico culo and then we are going to put it all over where is my mouse gone all over the distance squared now look here the distance between P and A is 40 plus 20 so we're going to divide by 40 plus 20 squared so 40 plus 20 is 60 centimeters which is 0, 0,6 meters so now the force A on P okay put this in your calculator I get a very small number. I get 8 times 10 to the negative 7. 8 times 10 to the negative 7 newtons. And remember, this is repulsion. So where will B go? Ask yourself, where is P? Sorry, where is P going to go? P is going to be forced away by this force to the right. Okay. Then we have to have a look now for the force of B on P. Make sure you put the nice headings in your work so your teacher can mark it nicely and next year the examiner can mark you nicely. So to find this force, okay, this is negative, this is positive, so this force is going to be attraction. Okay, now we're going to come and write the formula again. Do you see me writing the formula? So F equals K. Okay. Q1. Q1 is 6 microcoulombs. Okay. K, Q1. Q2. Remember Q2 is the P. So it's that picocoulomb value. Over... And the distance here is 20 centimeters, so it's going to be 0, 0,2 squared. Now put this all into your calculator. And you end up with 1,08. So F equals 1,08 times 10 to the negative 5 newtons okay so now this to the negative 5 is a bigger force than a negative 7 and this force was attraction so what does P want to do P wants to go to the left okay so now what we should ideally do is draw a vector diagram okay we should say that we've got an 8,7 newton force to the right and a 1,8 times 10 to the negative 5 newton to the left. So what we need to do is now find the net force. Okay, so we're going to add these together. If we want to add them together, we want to say to the right is positive because these are vectors, so we need to declare a vector direction. So this value is positive, okay because it's to the right and then we are going to add them because to find the net force you add and we're going to add this force but this force is negative because it's to the left okay and now we need to work this out in our calculator because my brain is not up to this I end up with negative 1 times 10 to the power of negative 5. What did that do? Why did it go and do that? That was not fair. Okay, so I've got minus 1 times 10 to the negative 5. And this will obviously be in newtons. What is the minus telling us? It is telling us the direction. So we need to put it as a positive uh, statement of the answer. So it's going to be... 1 times 10 to the negative 5. What? And this is going to be Newton's to the left. We know it's to the left because the sign is negative. Okay, so I hope you followed everything here. We first find for this 2.3, we first find the force A on P 
and we find its direction. We find the force B on P, okay? Then we declare a direction, find the net force by adding the forces together, remembering to the right is positive, and there you end up with your answer.